A call is being made to encourage creative innovation and to get more youth engaged in the politics of this country. This was just some of the items coming out of the UE St. Augustine's Department of Political Science Forum as they discussed the politics of the economy. Marie Hull has more. According to Senator Yana Lewis, statistics from a Ministry of Sports and Youth Affairs policy indicate that there is an average of 450,000 young people under the age of 29. This, she said, will allow for the increase in diversity through creative minds. So creative innovation can replace diversification in a sense that the millennials, we are the ones who think of the new ideas. Most of the persons in the baby boomers age, which would be most of our parents, they, are, they would have already maxed out the ideas that they can come with new for the economy and the country and the world at large. At the UWI St. Augustine's Department of Political Science Forum, focused on the politics of the economy, economist Dr. Marlene Atz noted, while innovation is important, young people still need to be engaged in the happenings of the country especially in politics. The way in which we exist now is not about us in terms of current consumption, but it is about you, the future generations. So we have a responsibility to you, but you also need to hold us accountable. And the only way that you can hold us accountable is if you are cognizant and take full appreciation of the circumstances under which we find ourselves. Participating in the discussion, the youngest temporary senator to debate in the parliament, Nikolai Edwards, blamed the backlog in the criminal justice system for contributing to financial challenges within the economy. 117,000 plus cases, criminal matters, are filed annually. Of those 117,000 criminal matters, approximately 70,000 of those are disposed of in a given year. And this was over a six-year period, a recent six-year period that I looked at these figures. So therefore, that means about 30 to 40,000 criminal matters are carried over. It's because when we look at the judiciary and the budget that is allocated toward the judiciary, in the 80 percentile of those funds, that goes towards recurrent expenses. This was the Department of Political Science's second youth forum on the topic, the politics of the economy. Marie Hall, C News.